Hi everyone, so I am currently alone at home so I thought this was the perfect time to show you a different setting because it's quiet and you get to see some of my plants so today I am going to show you a mini haul I really needed a couple of things I needed um, a raincoat and I've been looking so hard to find one that I like because I was hoping to find a rain jacket that is waterproof I mean at least you know if it's raining and I have to cross the street I'll be okay like I'm not expecting it to be so waterproof that if I shower in the rain it will I will still be dry type because it rains in Toronto a lot so it's convenient and I wanted it for the summer specifically I finally found one that I like it's from Burton this is the jacket this is the Burton Sadie jacket this was on sale for $80 uh, I decided to, to pay a bit more I know I guess to some people that's like standard but <laughs> to me that's a lot so let me show you how it looks so the reason I like this is because there is a lining inside there's this mesh area where you can put something in there and there is another layer over here and they have these pockets that you just clip on like this Okay, there is a, a drawstring if you want to cinch the waist. My only beef with this, hold on, let me show you, is that sometimes this part where um, I zip the jacket and connect it, I have to make sure that it's really connected because sometimes it's hard to zip which I think is annoying for something that's is so annoying for something that's $80 so this is how it looks on I didn't want it to feel like a plastic bag basically this and it's very important for the hood to stay put okay because it's really hard to find hoods that fit my head properly and yeah you can Flip this all together, there's this to tighten everything. So there are several pockets as well. There's a pocket in here. It's actually really deep, look. <laughs> and there's another area I think you can put. Where is it? Over here. I think if you want to put your phone in that pocket, you can put your um if you have earphones that aren't cordless, you can put put them through here. So that's the jacket that I got. The other thing I got is a backpack. I've been wanting a good backpack to use for hiking, for traveling, uh, for the gym, and something that I don't mind carrying with me everywhere so I looked um, further in Burton and I saw that they also sold backpacks this is what I got it is super bright pink and normally I wouldn't buy a super bright pink bag but I think I thought it went so well with um, my jacket and also because you are gonna be traveling and hiking with it I thought it made sense for it to be bright because the last thing you want is to lose it so I did um, so right now I'm currently using it as a gym bag it has a pocket here I have, actually have stuff in it so so I'll show you the pocket so there's this there's a pocket here There's a water bottle area here, and you can uh, make that bigger if you want. Some of the reviews I read didn't like 
this pocket they thought it was too wide even with the zipper like they'd rather it be a stretchy material here because it doesn't grip the water bottle too well i don't have a problem with it but obviously you know i just have to watch where i'm going there's a little there's a little uh slit here um also this thing is actually meant for skateboards or longboards but i don't have that so yeah if you and what i like and the reason why i decided to get a bag from here because i really like herschel bags too but i have the tendency to overpack my bag so they get heavy and none of the herschel backpacks have a a chest or waist buckle so this if if your bag has this that means it will aid your shoulders so if you find that your bag uh, is hurting your shoulders a bit it's quite heavy just buckle this on okay that's also the same concept as when you shop for bras if you notice that your bra is hurting your your shoulders it might be the fact that the clasp around your your bust is not tight enough so yeah that's a random tip but that's all i got from burden a random thing i got I actually started lane swimming with my coworker, and we do it once a week and because i want to be good at it I, I i also bought a good pair or a decent pair of swimming glasses this one is from Amazon and so far I have no complaints I specifically bought a, an anti-fog one the one that they had for indoor pool was sold out this one is better for outdoor pools so sometimes if there's no sunlight going through the windows of the indoor pool sometimes it's a bit hard to see but that's because take into the consideration the fact that my eyes are blurry as well but this actually doesn't fog so i i did read the instructions for it they have a they have an anti-fog substance on it or coating on it and you're not supposed to rub it you know how usually people rub their sunglasses or their reading glasses you're not supposed to do that with these goggles if you want to rinse it off you just wash it or put it through water and let it air dry you're not supposed to rub it so so far it's work it's very comfortable around my eyes surprisingly i don't get because some goggles they get, they leave you those marks it hasn't done that for me so if any all the stuff that i bought i'm gonna leave the link below other things i bought our shoes so i got back into the gym again i'm so happy i'm able to do the things that i love again and fit them into my life again because i actually got injured but that's another story i usually use flat shoes like bands or converse to do my deadlifts or sometimes my squats any push movement i usually prefer to wear flat shoes so I got these bright yellow vans yellow is one of my one of my favorite colors I mean it is my favorite color but you know sometimes I just can't wear it but I love the color yellow I've been wanting yellow vans for a while now these were only $37 and the reason I got them is because I lost my other ones I have no idea where it went it's been so long since I used them and I'm planning to just use them for the gym maybe but look at it it's so cute let me let me put them on right now because they kind of go with my outfit and I don't know if you noticed but a lot of clothes I buy almost all clothes like 99% of the clothes I buy are always going to be on sale or thrifted I think paying full price for some stuff is like a scam unless i absolutely absolutely need it like it has to be a desperate like an act of des it's an act of desperation you know that's the only way 
I will buy things for full price if it has to be like absolutely necessary. Do you see? Do you see the socks? <laughs> I, I'm so obsessed with the color. I love, I love it. I love it so much. It's, there are some shades of yellow that looks very, very similar to this yellow, and it's like cost more. It makes no sense. They also had these ones on sale. I've never bought a pair of shoes from Sorel. I know they're known for their boots, but they're running shoes. Because your girl started running. So I basically work on my cardio now. And it's not because I'm, I, I love running. It's more like I want to be good at swimming. So I'm trying to improve like cardio in general. I know, crazy. And this is how they look. They're super light. Look at the back. Super colorful. I will only use them in the gym or if I'm doing a workout outside. Yes, yes. I honestly, personally, I really like the crazy looking... Are these quilts? Are these holes? When this part looks chunky and like, I the way I describe it is they look like rockets, like they look like spaceships. I like shoes that look like spaceships. I like the ones that look. See how it's kind of thick. <laughs> thank you to everybody. Honest. Okay, honestly, it's not a lot, but thank you to all the people who have subscribed and who actually watch when I see the views. So. Thank you. I know this is not my usual baking content, but that will go back soon. Okay, I'm just taking a break because summer's been exhausting. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Bye.